This is a story sent to me from a teacher that made my jaw drop. Okay, here we go. Hi, I am a former teacher. This happened to me a long time ago, but it is a 100% true story. It was a Thursday and my maternity leave was supposed to begin the following Monday. It was also my first baby. The special ed teacher popped in my room to drop off my one little guy that joined us for science every day. She took one look at me and sent me to the nurse's office. I'm in an elementary school, she said, because I was in labor. The nurse puts me on one of those tiny cots and closes the office to kids because no one in second grade needs that sort of science lesson. <laughs> she calls my husband and also notifies the principal of what is happening. The principal comes in to see me, takes my hand in a compassionate sort of way, pats my hand and says, if you can hold on for another hour, we won't have to dock your pay for the day. The nurse was appalled and literally pushed the principal out the door. I just added it to all the other things said to me that year by admin. That one topped them all though, did not return the next year. I mean, can we blame her? So many of these stories that I tell, <laughs> I feel like are just so Michael Scott coded. Like it's a, it's a scene you would watch in the office. The unawareness from some of these higher ups is concerning. Like that might be true, okay? I get it. There's rules that, that pay people, HR people need to follow and all of the things, but is that the time? Is that the time to say that? Like, I don't, I don't know. And what if she can't hold on? Like, are you encouraging her to like hurt her body and her unborn child to like just hold on and what clench for a few more minutes so that she can get a full day pay like just prioritize other things and maybe that was her way of showing you know like that she cared about her she wanted her to receive her full day's worth of pay there's just there's just got to be a better way there's got to be a better way